Hi there, I'm Mateo and this is Building Modern APIs with RESTful. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can provide alternate IDs for your resources. So that is useful when uh, you have to, to do stuff like uh, using the UUID module because, you know, using serialized IDs may not be a very good idea sometimes because that allows you or that allows users of the API, the consumers, to try to discover new content that is not exactly uh, what you may want. So basically by doing something like, uh, let me go contrib API, uh, let's say bands and we see here, it's taking a little bit of time because I have my my debugger there. I turned it off. So, uh, yeah, imagine that I do something like this. API bands 67. And then I realize that I can just manually change this number and still get that get content or maybe 66 uh, oh man I'm not hitting uh, a real one so uh, is it the band this is a band uh, mm -hmm. maybe I should have prepared this 67 um, yeah see you you may be in band 69 and see I'm gonna just keep incrementing this and get different bands and so people at this point are basically guessing what the where the content is and how to get new content and that may not be what you want so uh, it's usually good practice to assume that this cannot be done because you cannot rely on on this to build the feature and uh, again you may even not want this to be done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do drush enable UUID and you may find more information about this module uh, with the usual ways. And uh, by enabling this, it, this should create UUIDs for my entities, at least for, for the nodes. So um, I'm going to do drush SQLC and do select UID from node. All right, so as you can see, these the UUIDs are populated. So what I want is, um, let me, all right, what I want is to be able to, instead of accessing band 51 or band 70, I want to access band 4CC95, blah, 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 blah. So, right now I'm doing band 70, but I want to do band do it like this. And I want this to show in here. So, how do we do that? Um, luckily, since this is a, a very common use case uh, that is already built in into RESTful and I'm going to show you how easy, how easy it is to do. So first off, after installing the module uh, and checking that we have UUIDs, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bands resource. That's okay. The bands resource and I'm going to create the UUID field. So um, basically this is going to be like every any other field, UUID equals, uh, I'm, I'm going to call it, oops, universal ID, uh, just because uh, you see the difference when I'm typing the public field name or the property. All right. Uh, Okay, so that's 
property UID and that should be that should be it um, so I still need to use this but you can see that now the universal ID it's already populated there so what I'm going to do is for the data provider I'm gonna say that the ID field is going to be the um, actually the UUID this is missing comma and uh, no okay sorry sometimes the annotation syntax it's a little bit weird again we change the syntax and we need to clear caches or otherwise we will not know what's going on so if I refresh this I'm gonna copy this UUID if I refresh this it's gonna show up with an error oh okay yeah again annotation is exception as I said sometimes the annotation syntax can be a little bit weird or maybe it's just that I'm not uh, used to type all this much because as I said I always copy stuff over but uh, it shouldn't be that hard so and uh, now uh, we are seeing that we are trying to load by band 70 but it's giving us an error uh, so that is great because what we have to do is this the UUID and hmm. all right hmm oh okay sorry remember when I told you that I needed to do this so, so apparently I forgot that I named this differently okay uh, cool let's let's clear this and uh, go back to this and refresh and now the ID that's being used is going to to be the universal ID so that's uh, how easy it is to to do this but uh, now there is something that is missing and if we go to the labels you'll see that uh, we get this error saying that we cannot load by universal ID and that is because in here in the label in the record label we are connecting to the bands so this is going to get the content of the entity reference field but the entity reference field here is going to return the 70 instead of the UUID so what we need to do is uh, we're gonna need to tell this resource that in the case that we want to load bands since the bands resource is gonna expect the UUID to load bands so now what's happening is that this label is saying okay give me the contents of band 70 and this guy is saying hey I don't know what band 70 is I know about band sorry 4CC95B22 so in order to to connect these two we need this guy to ask for uh, 4C95 blah 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 so uh, we're going to type a new reference ID field we're gonna say that uh, in this case we are uh, saying okay inside of the field manage bands we're going to use another property so when we're using properties we use the the tuple field in this case the tuple property and and that is UUID and not universal ID I hope that makes sense 
so let's go back to oh sorry actually let's go forward uh, to this refresh and uh, it still says that the 57 by universal ID cannot be loaded and that is hmm maybe it's because I didn't type the, the proper thing ah okay so it's reference ID property okay so yeah basically uh, we set this to the property inside of the band that we want to use to connect to to this so if we go to the record labels now you'll see that this is respecting the the ideas that we that we have for the bands and we can even uh, include the bands uh, yep include the bands and I'm gonna fold data so you can see that we can include this and it's going to connect again the file manage bands UUID with the universal ID for the bands. So uh, yeah, that is that is one use. Uh, another use that I find uh, many times to be very very useful is that uh, when you are including taxonomy terms, you will get the you will get as output the ID because uh, when you include taxonomy terms inside of uh, let's say a node you include the term reference to to that and sometimes and many times what you need out of that taxonomy term is just the name of it so something that you can do is imagine that we uh, that we had tags in the label so we could do something. Actually, I'm gonna add them really quick. Content type, record label, manage fields. I'm gonna add an existing field, term reference field tags, All right? Mm. That looks cool. And now I'm gonna add um uh, no the one person I want label oops record label mm. I'm gonna edit this one out and I'm gonna add some tags let's say alpha beta gamma right those tags don't make sense but this is only for the for the exercise so you can see that we have the tags here and alpha is the tag or the taxonomy term number one so uh, really quick here we add the tags to the public fields we say tags equals array property field tags okay go back and refresh okay so we have for uh, outline records we have three tags one two and three remember one is alpha so that, that makes sense um, but we said that we want here to just have alpha, beta, and gamma. So what we could do is write a rec, uh, sorry, a resource for taxonomy term tags and have this be a relationship. So this would uh, be here and then do something like include bands and tags uh, so you can get the name out of it. But uh, you can use this technique that I showed you to instead of showing the entity ID show 
the name as if it was the ID of the of the uh, taxonomy term. So uh, we can be a little bit sneaky here and say referenced ID property close name and then refresh and voila we get this. So this is um I don't want to say a hacky way but uh, this is a byproduct of the reference ID property that you can use if you are only interesting interested in a single property of the related resource in this case the the tax or the the tax resource that you could have if you are only interested into the name you can use this to get this output uh, yeah again this is uh, pretty advanced stuff uh, and mostly what you will be doing probably is uh, you're going to be doing this stuff and get support for free for UIDs without uh, really needing to add a bridge module for anything and when I said UUIDs you can do whatever you want so you could add your custom field that does uh, whatever weird logic and you could use that field instead of the UUID you could uh, as you saw with the with the taxonomy terms you could add any field uh, or property in this case we used the name we could have used the description or whatever so uh, just make sure that uh, if you're using IDs, IDs are supposed to be unique. Don't use uh, don't use a field that is not unique, because otherwise you are probably going to end up with confusing results. That's it. I uh, see you in the next video.